after, etc. And we are back with another garden project. But it is not my garden. So you might remember um, Mom's house because we've been here quite a bit. We came over to get a few volunteer plants and donation plants from her garden when I did my new garden bed around the tree a few weeks ago. Um, but today she is filling in this garden bed with topsoil and compost and starting to plant it. This was yard. So she's going to be taking out all this monkey grass and extending this flower bed that was here when she bought the house like 10 years ago out to the bricks. The bricks will be dug down a bit. And then she's going to be taking out all this monkey grass and extending this flower bed to the brick as well. But we still need a path through here for the lawn mower for people. So we're going to be putting in kind of these big gray pavers as a um, walkway. So that's what we're working on specifically today is laying a paver pathway that we can walk through. So we went and bought 20 of these at the store yesterday and we're going to see how far they go. They kind of interlock, but mom lives on a main street. So there's a lot more cars, a lot more people, a lot more things around here. That make noise. So we will just have to, you know, do the best we can so that y'all can hear what we're doing. But for now, um, mom went to grab the wheelbarrow and the leaf blower. We're going to get all the leaves out of here. This is all under her big I think this is a magnolia tree. Mom, are you around? Yeah. This is a magnolia tree. That big one? Yeah, the big one. Yeah. I thought so. Um, there's some beautiful magnolia buds, like, and a few open flowers up there. It's just about to burst into full bloom. It smells really good. It smells so good. Unfortunately, since she is right on the street, it is halved, so the telephone pole lines can go in front of it. But this side is glorious, and it has got to have been here. I don't even know how long, how old this tree is, but the house is about 100 years old, so I wouldn't be surprised if the tree was 70, 70 80 years old. It's huge. So we are going to be putting a garden bed in underneath it. So let's get started with that. So there's a root right here that is coming up out of the ground. Not sure what it's for, but we're going to cut it out. Cut it out. especially if they're big roots, but this one was already popping out of the ground and not super connected on one side.
All right, y'all. So we've made it all the way across. Charlie Brown, my neighbor's dog, my mom's neighbor's dog, and Cinnamon are in the middle of a barking war. So sorry about that. But you can see we've had to take out a couple roots to make everything flat. But this is kind of how the pattern goes. And then she's, you're planning to put some kind of steppable plant in between them eventually, right? Yeah, we're not sure what yet. This one needs to come over a smidge. Can't do it with my foot, I don't think. Ooh, there we go. So, there we go. Mom said the ground was just a little high right here, so she's digging it down. That way, they're all all down in there. But we've got a couple of bags of the garden soil and then the compost, so we're going to go ahead and start putting the garden soil in between them. And then I think that will call this project done for the day. Looks pretty good, though. So far, so good. Hold up. What were you saying, Mom? Speak up. This is the only way to get to the front yard to mow it because I have a little ledge over in front of my yard. So he can't. we can't take the mower from the front here because, like I'll show you, I'll walk over here. If we walk over to the sidewalk here, it is quite the step down. Like, you can do it as a person, but... You definitely could not, could not do that with the mower. So this is the only way to get the mower into the front yard. And this path will be wide enough to, to go right across it eventually. You're just gonna have to make sure it's not turned on and take all your steppables out. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we could have leveled it. We could have put the grip down first. We could have done it way more professional, but this dirt is very hard tech. And you saw how many roots we had to get out of here just to surface roots. Again, this tree is older than dirt. dirt. <laughs> so for our space, for what we're doing, this was mom's solution. And I think it was good. It looked really good compared to what it was this morning. I'll pop up well, and before, nothing, uh, nothing will grow here because of the tree. Because of the tree. So hopefully, like she said, she's going to look for some little steppables for um, shade. For shade. And if she finds those, I will come back when she plants them and we will give you an update on planting steppables. But for now, the paver path is done. And we're going to go take a break. So see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>